so I was looking through the PDGA website, my own personal stats, and I found that at the 2002 Magic City Christmas Classic, which I ran in that event, there were two very interesting things. One, I played open. I don't know why I played open. Um, that seems like a bad idea for me to play open at that time. I'd only been playing, I've been playing about, well, I've been playing six years, but I've done, I've been doing more tournament running than playing. <clears throat> I think my rating at the time was right at 900. Ratings were really new then. Um, I don't know, that, don't, don't take my word for it, you can look for yourself and look at that tournament and see what it was but but the other thing was that in the second round i shot a 48 at george ward i have no idea what the layout is i have no recollection of this event really um um we had put in many of the new pin, pin placements by then so it was the original layout i'm sure um the hot round of the day it was a two-round term the hot round of the day was a 41 by brad hammock um, if you don't know who Brad Hammock is, if you watch Disc Golf Pro Tour, if you watch Joe Mez practice rounds, um, that's uh, Paul Uleberry's uh, caddy, Brad Hammock, Masters World Champ, Brad Hammock. Um, he's from originally from Georgia. I'm not sure where he calls home these days, but he's originally from Georgia, and uh, he came over and played a lot of the tournaments I ran back 20 years ago. But I shot a 48. The second round. The hot round was 44. Brad Hammock, Joe Thacker, and LaVon Wolf shot a 44. I shot a 48. I shot the eighth best round in open out of 18 players. Now, I think I ended up finishing 16th total because I shot a 56th first round. I improved uh, a lot of risk. But, so that got me thinking. Why can't I shoot a 48 at George Ward on whatever the current shortest configured layout is? So that's my goal. My goal is to try to shoot a 48 again at George Ward. I started tonight. Um, I played just played the front nine. So trying to hit 48, George Ward. I lied myself for my warm up. Uh, three drives off one. I did not take the best, but it's like three warm-up drives. And then I, I took my real drive. And then when I got through with hole one, I made I took four putts from 25 feet um, after I'd finished it, after I'd putted. I took four four putts from 25 feet just to get my putter warmed up. That's just, that's all the warm-up I need or all the warm-up I can really stand at this point. But, um, hole one, I just know, uh, I threw the TL, didn't throw it hard enough, or, or didn't throw it flat enough. I think it was didn't throw it flat enough. It came up just, it came up, hit the rocks, hit hit this side of the rocks, rolled down into the little hole down there by the short pin placement. Pitched up, got my par. Hole two, switched to the um, Sapphire today because the uh, TL, I don't know, just, I, I gotta be warmed up for that TL well. When I do, I love it, but I gotta be warmed up. I didn't feel like I was warmed up enough. So I threw the Sapphire. Circle's edge, short. Um, I putted what I thought was a tailwind. It must have been a right to left because it uh, lifted, hit the top of the basket and skipped to circle's edge, uh, long and left. Uh, so now I'm putting straight back into the headwind. And I tried to keep it low and it was short. So, hole three threw it too high. Hole four, uh, didn't throw it great, but I was 20 feet, got the birdie. And uh, there was a little break here on hole four, so I thought I'd give a little update. Maybe I'll try doing uh, updates after every three or four holes. And uh, that way, it's not all having to remember the whole thing. So but I'm keeping rolling you disc, tracking my shots. Uh, I'm going to try to make 48. I did it once in 2002, so I should go do it again. So holes five and six. Well, hole five, yeah, I left my approach short. So I ended up taking four. And hole six, I got really lucky on the drive. It was low and early, but it got a good skip. Rode all the way down to the far edge of the 
fairway trees. But then I left my short approach, short, had a 25 footer downhill at OB. And uh, yeah, didn't, didn't really like it. But this drive I just had on seven, probably the best drive I've had in a minute with Sapphire. That's just right there. Drives right there. So, I mean, you still can't get a birdie. I, mean, I can throw it in, but not only a birdie. But we'll find out. Well, my, uh, just played the front nine on my Quest 48. I, uh, I was two over on the front. I really feel like I'm going to go look tonight and look back at some of my, um, stats and you just i really think that the front nines where my problems are so i want to really get it nailed down but two over we'll, we'll see how to get better <laughs>